I'm going to tell you how to save for the web. Um, if we look at this image right now, we go to image, image size, we'll see that it is 3888 pixels by 2592 pixels, um, which is 54 by 36 inches at 72 pixels per inch. So this is pretty large in size in terms of dimensions, um, but if we look here at the um, file size, 28.8 megs, um, that's a pretty large file size as well. So you want a large file size, like this type of size would be extremely good if you were trying to um, print this, um, whether it is a single photo that you want to print or you want to print for a photo album or something like that. If you're printing for paper or, you know, even for a magazine or a newspaper, the larger the better because it's going to have high quality, high resolution, it's going to look crisp, crisper and cleaner, it's going to print better. Now the web is different. Um, print, obviously, you have it in your hands, it's physically there, um, there's no wait time, it's just there. However, on the web, as I'm sure we all know, some pages load faster than others and that has to do with the content on them um, and how large the files on them are. So if we have very large photos on a web page, um, those photos, if they're large in file size, are going to, going to load slowly which also will make the page lo load slowly. Um, you know, the page load depends on the number of items that it has to load and the size of all those items combined. So what we want to do is try and get the size down as much as possible if we're saving for the, if we want to use it for the web. So I'm going to go ahead and cancel this because I was just bringing it up to show um, the current size. And um, actually, you know, this was very, very large. It was, let me look at that one more time, you know, 338 by 2592 pixels. Now that is way too big. We'd never want it that big. So there's two things you can do to get the size smaller. One, and the first step that you should take is make it the dimensions that you want it for, um, for your web page. Now before we do that, I suggest that you save, um, file, save, and then save in the Photoshop format. It might also be listed as PSD, but basically you want to save a .psd file that's going to save higher quality and make sure layers are on. Click save. I'm just going to click OK. And basically, you want to make sure you always save a PSD because if you ever want to come back and work on it in the future, it allows you to work with a high quality version with different layers. So for example, it's going to keep these layers that I have, which maybe is not such a big deal um, since I didn't do that much, but sometimes you could be working with multiple layers and you want to make sure to save your progress so that you can come back and you can edit it again. Um, so always save a PSD, which is like your original source file that you would come back if you needed to re-edit again later. But we're going to create a JPEG, which is going to be for the web. So we're going to go, um, but okay, yeah, first <laughs> we're going to change the size and make it the actual size that we want it. Um, if we do do save for web, it's going to say, it's cut out, I know, but it says the image exceeds the size for save for web. Um, so I'm going to say no. But basically that's because our image is so large that even if we save for web, it's going to be too big. But the biggest problem is it's so large in terms of di dimensions. Um, we really need to make sure that we make it smaller. Um, when you're having an image for the web, make it the exact dim dimensions that you want it. Don't make it way like much larger. Um, so let's say I only want this to be 200 pixels wide. So I say 200 pixels and then since I have constrained proportions checked, it automatically is going to adjust the height for me. Actually, maybe I'll say 250 and click OK. And we're going to see already just by changing the dimensions 
by changing the dimensions, it's changing it from 28.8 megs to 122 k's. Now k's are smaller than megs, so this is significantly smaller. Now it looks pretty tiny, but if we go down here and instead of viewing it at 20%, we view it at 100, type in 100, this is the size that it's going to be on my web page.